close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, know it all the way in. When it goes out, know it all the way out. And then with the next breath and the next. Just keep doing this as long as you can. Training the mind to be still like this is a really important skill to have as part of your repertoire. Because the mind jumps around way too much for its own good. And it starts thinking about things that can actually cause it a lot of harm. So you need a skill to pull it back from that harmful kind of thinking. So we've got the breath here. Let the breath be comfortable. Ask yourself right now what kind of breathing would feel good, long breathing or short, heavy or light, fast or slow, deep or shallow. Check and see what's going to feel best for the body right now. This gives, gives you a sense of strength in, inside and a place where the mind can come back and settle in with a sense of well-being. Because it's going to want to go out and look at this and look at that. You have to say no. And then you have to give it something good in, in exchange. So give it a sense of comfort with the breath. That way it can learn how to endure the not having what it wants right away. It builds up its qualities of endurance. There's a very important part of the meditation. is your ability to, to endure the fact that, okay, while you're here, you can't think about this, you can't think about that. Well, you have to remind yourself. You think about those other things, you could be causing yourself a lot of trouble. You've got to master this skill so that basically let the mind grow up a bit so it doesn't just go running after whatever it wants. It's got to stay right here for the time being. As for those other things, if they're, if they're skillful, you can think about them some other time. If they're not skillful, you want to be able to let them go and not come back to them at all. So try to make the breath comfortable. This builds your powers of endurance. And this way, the meditation helps you deal with issues outside as well. When you're dealing with difficult people, you can stay with your breath and keep the breath comfortable. They don't have to know that your breath is comfortable. But then again, that's none of their business. You've got a sense of sense of well-being inside. They can be yelling at you. They can be doing all kinds of horrible things. But you can have this sense of endurance right here that because you've got something better inside, a comfortable place to stay. You don't let their words get to you. And this way, by looking after yourself, you're also looking after other people. And this is what the Buddha said one time. When you look after your own mind, you're also helping other people. In other words, by being more mindful, by being more alert, you're less likely to cause harm to other people. At the same time, when looking after other people, you look after yourself. When you develop powers of endurance and put up with unpleasant words, difficult situations, and then other people provide for you. When you learn to have some empathy for them, you, you see that they, they have the same kind of struggles that you have. And when you're kind to them, okay, those build up good qualities inside, because that makes you less likely to do harmful things to them, and that way you have less bad karma. So it's in looking after yourself that you look after others, and when you look after others, you're looking after yourself. In other words, you look after them with endurance, with kindness, with a sense of empathy. And that builds good qualities for your own mind. So when you have to be helpful to others, don't think of it as being a burden. Think of it as an opportunity to develop your perfections, to develop your good qualities of your mind. And when you're sitting here meditating, don't think about, well, I should do this, I should do that for someone else. Right now your duty is to strengthen your mind. And the stronger you can make your mind here, the stronger your concentration, the stronger the mindfulness, the better you'll be able to help other people when you're around them, because they can be difficult. They can need your help. Okay, if you've got the inner strength, you've got the helper to provide. When they're being difficult, you can sit there and take it, because you've got a quiet place inside that's your source of strength, that's not touched by their words, unless you pull their words in. Don't go pulling them in. As the Buddha said, when someone says something really unkind, just comment to yourself, okay, and there's an unpleasant sound at the ear, making contact, and that's it. Don't go start building other stories around it about why is this person saying this, and why don't they like me, or why are they looking down on me, or whatever. There's just an unpleasant sound. You, in the meantime, keep the state of your mind solid, and that way you're helping yourself and helping the other person. That's one of the good things about the Buddha's skills and how to find happiness, is all the kinds of happiness that he recommends are happiness that don't create boundaries. In other words, you benefit, other people benefit too. The kind of happiness that creates boundaries is when you gain material things, someone else had to lose it. When you gain a relationship, someone had to lose that relationship. When you gain status, someone else had to lose that status. That kind of happiness is not good, because when you lose it, you feel bad, and when you, when you gain it, then you create enemies. So look for a happiness that comes from within, that doesn't have to involve competition, doesn't have to involve creating boundaries. That kind of happiness you can rely on. 
because nobody else wants to destroy your happiness. They're very happy for you. It's the happiness that the world provides. That's the kind of happiness that other people want to destroy. Because once you get something, they, they want it. And then they're going to destroy what you've got if they can't get it. So look for happiness inside, the happiness that comes from helping yourself and then helping others at the same time. Helping others in a way that helps yourself too. That kind of happiness is really solid and secure. <laughs>